Have you ever wished there were more user fields available to you in a basic core Joomla install? Well, there probably are. You just have to turn on a plugin. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 175 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Uh, let's turn our attention to the screen and check out how to get those fields. This video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one Joomla site or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA, you'll get your first month free. All right, so here's what I've got. I have a very plain Joomla install. I'm already logged in with a profile that is simply registered. I've created a link in the main menu to profile and to edit profile. Now, if we check out profile, you'll see there's just a few fields there. And if I go to edit my profile, I, I can change my password. I can change the editor time zone, stuff like that. But um, uh, that's it. Now, if you want to find uh, more fields for your users to put information in, for you to collect more information about your users, Here's what you want to do. And I want to give a shout out to Ivor because he found uh, this plugin and shared it during a live stream last week, which is why you want to be subscribed so you don't miss out on moments like that here on the channel. Uh, all right, so we go into the back end of the site. We go to extensions and plugins. Now we're going to filter by user. You'll see I already have user in the filter. Down here, we have user profile. So we'll click and go into there. And lo and behold, look at all these fields that are core in Joomla. Now, there's two sets of them here. One is a set to be used for registration and for your administrator user forms. The other is for the user profile fields and for profile edit form. So why two? Well, let's say you wanna make it very easy for people to, subscribe, uh, to create a profile on your site. Uh, you don't wanna collect all this information at the beginning. You just wanna get them when they're ready to sign up. So what you can do is you can disable all of these beginning fields on the registration form. I'm just gonna do three, address one, two, and city. So when someone's creating a profile, they don't see any of that. They create a profile on your site, an account, and then later on, when they go to edit their profile, then they would have more fields available to them. Now, at this point, you could also make those fields that are available to them in their profile something that is required. So they, you don't require their address when they create a profile, but you do require an address once they go in and go to edit their profile. When we save this and we go to the front end of the site and we can now go to uh, edit profile. Whoops, missed one step. Don't forget to enable that plugin. There we go. So when you go to edit the profile, there's all the fields that show up. And remember, we made address one and address two required. Can't save this unless that field has been filled. And of course, if we log out and go back to create an account, now we have name, username, password, which was there before. But look, the ones we disabled are not there, but region, country, postal, that's all there as well. These remain optional. So you have a lot more options than maybe you knew of in a core Joomla site and a lot more configurations of those options uh, without having to add maybe a heavier membership profile management extension. Now, I love those, those extensions. I use Community Builder on a lot of sites, but if you're doing something just basic, you wanna uh, set up a very small site, you wanna collect some information, uh, maybe it's a site that you only can use for a couple months, maybe it's just for a temporary project, there's a lot of user fields available to you in a core Joomla install. Just turn that plugin on. I hope that that was helpful. This video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe and ring the bells to get notifications and uh, give the video a like. That helps others to find it on YouTube and on the internet. So until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.